hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today for another wonderful tutorial i welcome all my new subscribers and my old subscribers thank you everyone and i appreciate all your support so if this is your first time of stopping by on my channel please do subscribe and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i, I upload new videos so in today's tutorial we'll be making a butterfly top this is an easy tutorial you need your uh, basic uh, body uh, pattern and you also need about two and a half yards of uh, fabric of your choice uh, to make this top so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, draft the back piece so um i folded my fabric into two and now i'm going to place the basic bodice pattern on the folded edge of the fabric so we're going to draft the back first because the front has a zipper so after that we're going to use the pattern and cut out the front okay all right so i'm just going to place my bodice bodice pattern matching uh the edge to the folded edge of my fabric I'm going to go ahead and pin it down so that the pattern doesn't shift um, when I'm taking measurements okay so guys this stuff uh, this top is so very easy to make you can make it like in a, under an hour or an hour and a half okay and um it doesn't take uh, too long to make all right so after you have pinned down your pattern from the center front just uh, draw a line to meet the uh, shoulder point by the neckline all right and then from there from this that center front to measure about 23 or 20 to 24 inches depending on how full you want your sleeve to be okay so once you make that measurement you make a, a mark we're going to be um carving that uh carving the line from that measurement all the way to the length of the blouse just like this so you'll be covering it like to look like a butterfly you can see what i'm doing here you cover it to meet the length of the bodice just like that So once you cover it, this is what you're going to have. Now on the waistline, we'll be extending that line. So you're going to extend the line like, like I'm showing you here. All right, this will be the break for the sleeve. All right, after you've extended the line, after you've extended the line, you go ahead from that line, come down by two inches or two and a half inches. Then we'll be connecting the from the waistline in a slap manner to meet that two inches mark, just like this. Okay, and then I just went ahead and um, from the shoulder slant, extend the line to the 23 inches mark we made earlier. And uh, basically the blouse is ready to be cut out. 
so remember this is the back piece i am cutting out the back piece first and uh, the length width the neck width for this uh for the back is uh four inches by one one and a half inches okay So after you've done that, you just go ahead and cut it out like this. Okay, so we've I've done I finished uh, cutting out the back. So I placed it back on another folded uh, fabric, leaving about two inches and the folded edge for the zipper allowance. So we shall be cutting the uh, front piece now. So remember, the front is going to have a zipper. You can also um, decide to use button for the front it's totally up to you but for me i wanted a zipper so um i'm leaving two inches zipper allowance and then i place my pattern um like this so i'm going to go ahead and follow the same line and cut out the front except for the front uh, neckline is going to be deeper so is uh, i use uh, four inches by four inches uh for the length and the weight of the neckline so you just follow along and cut the front exactly like the back piece on the sides and on this by the sleeve Right, so after you've done cutting it out, you just I just made a mark where my neckline uh, ends. All right, so I'm just going to use my tape rule and measure down four inches as the uh, depth of my neckline for the front. Okay, so once you have marked the depth of your neckline, you use a French curve and connect it like this. And then go ahead and finish cutting the front um, 
neckline out. Okay, so this is the front and then all you do is uh, split the zipper allowance into two. Alright, so after you finish cutting, when you open it up, this is what you're going to have for the front. You're going to have two pieces for the front and one piece for the back. So this is what it looks like the back and the front together you'll be joining them on the shoulder so I'm just going to pin the shoulder with the right side facing each other you join the shoulder the front shoulder and the back shoulder together Okay, so we're just going to place, place that aside and I also cut out the belt. The belt is about uh, 40, 43 inches in length and the width, um, the width is about two and a half inches. Alright, so I have uh, finished uh, joining the shoulder together. After you have joined the shoulders together, you will turn the the top um, right side out. 
and then you're going to pin the sleeve down to the waist to the length of the blouse like this so you'll be sewing from the um, right side okay just like I'm showing you here so you're just going to pin it from the outside and then you're going to sew from the um, from the length of the blouse all the way to the sleeve so you pin it down like so and then you're going to sew down to the sleeve after that i cut out a bias a strip which i'm going to use to finish the uh, neckline so you're going to cut a, a bias a strip uh, long enough to cover the front from the front neckline all the way around to the back neckline and back again to the front so I'm going to do that and then show you what it looks like and this is the zipper that I'm going to be using so the zipper is a uh, a coat uh, zipper so it will be showing um, on the front after I have attached it so I've gone ahead and uh, sewn the sides and this is what the blouse is looking like so far I also finished the neckline using a bias strip okay so I pinned down my zipper so if you're using this kind of zipper, you're going to sew it in such a way that um, it will be showing. You don't want it, the zipper to be hidden. Okay, so that's exactly what I did here. So I pinned down my zipper and I'm going to go ahead and sew, sew it using my machine. And then the for the sleeve, for the band, the belt you're going to slant uh, the edge before you sew it, sew it together so it, it can have like a slant effect after that you're going to sew the edges together and leave a little bit opening in the middle then you're going to turn it off so this is the top I have done as attaching the zipper and this is what it looks like all right and this is the belt i've sewn it and then turned it over and good gave it a good press so this is the belt and you tie it like this on the blouse like i said this blouse is so easy to make it didn't take me an up to a, a, an hour and a half to make and this is it on the mannequin and it came out looking very nice um yeah so basically that's it that's all for this tutorial and uh, if, the, if this tutorial has been helpful for you please give a thumbs up like comment and share this video and um yeah come back again for another exciting tutorial and I will see you on my next video. Bye for now.